Hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life, and today I'm doing one of the tasks that is probably not one of my favorite tasks to do, and I'm cleaning the awning. Um, it's it's cumbersome, you know. It's way up high. Uh, I'm gonna I've got clothes on that's probably going to get ruined. Uh, you got to be up a ladder. You got to do some scrubbing, but it's an important task. What's happened is that over the winter, when the awning was rolled up, uh, yeah, we were traveling around a lot, but we didn't roll the awning out that much. Uh, we actually wanted the sun on the camper because we were up in a cold climate we wanted as much heat as possible but what happens with with that rolled up even though it's rolled up you'll still get some water and some moisture and what happens is in the folds um, it'll get a little mildewy ours isn't that bad um, and to be honest with you I, I'm not going to get it perfectly clean uh, once that mildew gets in there and stains it um, it's really hard to get that stain out but uh, I've got a solution here that Dometic recommends and uh, I've been using that for several years and had good success with it. So we'll make some improvement, uh, but it won't be 100% white like it was when we're brand new. Let me kind of show you what it looks like now and then we'll see what happens later. So here's the awning as it looks today. I'll zoom up here at the top and you can kind of see it's, you can see where the folds were at. And that's where water set over time this winter and then kind of cause some mildew. So we have those lines front and back. Also, we'll clean the top of it um, where, you know, we've had pine sap and, you know, tree sap and things like that, probably bird droppings, and we'll clean that as well. But we're going to start with the bottom first, and I'll show you the tasks that we're going to go through to be able to make this a little bit better. So one of the things I use is, this is called a, a Chapin a Bleach and Disinfectant Sprayer. Uh, the reason I use this is that um, if you use some of the ones for insecticides and things like that the soap and the bleach will actually rot it away and it just won't last very long. I've had this one for several years. It's worked really well. What Dometic recommends is that in a gallon of water use a tablespoon of bleach and a tablespoon of your Dawn. Um, it's important not to use much more than that because uh, you can actually uh, potentially accelerate the deterioration of your awning and it's not something that we want to spray and leave on there forever so what I'll do and as this is by the directions of Dometic is uh, I will spray this down really well uh, top and bottom and then um, I will uh, you'll roll it up for five minutes and let it sit and then we'll roll it back out again I'll spray it a second time and then I have and I'll show you you'll see this when I use it I have one of these uh, soft bristle car wash brushes. Uh, if you've ever seen the video, um, I'll put it up here <laughs> on cleaning your, um, uh, cleaning your uh, roof. Uh, I use this on the roof all the time. I use it to wash the camper. It's a soft bristle brush. It'll really get the, the crud off, but it won't scratch things up. It works really well, and it's on a nice long handle, so you don't have to reach as far. So uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, You know, washing this down really, really well and uh, with, the, with the bleach and then we'll roll it back up, let it sit for five minutes and we'll come back and do our other work. So I've actually sprayed this once 
and I've rolled it up for the five minutes uh, with a solution that's a, a gallon of water with a tablespoon of Dawn and a tablespoon of bleach. So I've actually done that once. Um, I can see a little bit of fading, uh, some better than the others. I don't, again, I think I'm going to have so many mildew stains in here, I'm not going to be able to get it all out of the white. I've climbed up the ladder and looked at the top and all the pine sap and all that stuff is already gone. So we're going to spray it one more time, get the brush, give it a good scrubbing and uh, see what happens from there. Now let me caution you, do not wear your best clothes when you're doing this. Um, this has got bleach in it and um, this shirt is going to be one speckle mess <laughs> when I get through. Same with the pants, same with the hat. So uh, don't use your best clothes when you do this, they're going to be a mess. So let's spray it again and then we'll start scrubbing. actually see that we're making some progress. We're not getting a hundred percent of this out, but that's okay. But see there's the, the before and you can actually see the, the mildew that's in there. And then there's the after that we're really starting to get a, a, a far better surface. But uh, it's looking a hundred percent better than what it was. Um, I had a few bird droppings. I didn't have a lot of pine sap or tree sap or any of those types of things that's on it. And I've sprayed it really good. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going to require any scrubbing at all, especially not like the base of the, uh, the bottom with all the mildew. It, it really looks good up there. So we're just going to give it a good rinse and I think we'll be done with that. Well, the results are amazing. Uh, here is a before, and you can actually see the streaked mildew. And then here is the after. Look at this. As a matter of fact, I'll zoom in on it, and you can see how clean it is. I'll take it all the way over here to the edge. And you can see how much better this thing looks now. All those streaks are gone. All that mildew is gone. You know, there's a speck or two here or there that's kind of permanently stained, but it looks 5,000% better. And uh, I'd say about an hour or so of work. Looks so good. Well, at least the hard part is over. We're almost done. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll put the camera up in just a few minutes. The, uh, the awning looks fantastic. So you saw me last uh, rinse the top of the uh, awning. Uh, it really wasn't in that bad a shape. It actually looked pretty good. But uh, so we just give it a good rinse, made sure we got all the soap off of it. And then 
where we had sprayed underneath, uh, I gave the side of the camper a good uh, rinsing as well so we didn't leave that soap and bleach. Even though there's not much of it in there, leaving it and letting it dry on the side of the camper is going to leave real ugly streaks. So we have one last task to do and we're going to treat the top of the awning. And what I'm going to use is this. This is called 303 um, Aerospace Protectant. Uh, this stuff is fantastic. Um, I've used this ever since we bought the capper in what, 2014. I, I, I spray my wheels with it. Uh, and the reason I spray my wheels is, you know, you get a lot of sun on it and it'll keep your wheels from dry rotting. It'll, it really will extend the life of your wheels. Uh, it's not going to help the tread, but it'll keep the sidewalls from dry rotting. And the other thing that I do is I treat my toppers uh, when I wash those and I treat the top of the awning. I really don't see any need to be able to treat the underneath of it, at least I don't. Uh, by putting this on top of your awning, uh, will uh, give you some UV protectant and that's what you want to be able to do. This UV protectant will help extend the life of your awning and keep it from dry rotting. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that next uh, and then what you do is you spray this on very liberally, spray it on the top and then you've seen these, you can buy these you know virtually anywhere, grocery stores, um, you know Walmart, just about anywhere. Um, they, there's generic brands, this one is I don't know, I can't even pronounce the name of it, some, some goofball product. But you use them for the Swiffers, um, you've seen them, the, the little Swiffer um, dust mops and things like that. But what I do, <clears throat> you buy these, you know, like a, this is a, a, a lint-free cloth, you literally buy these um, at Harbor Freight or at Walmart, usually, you know, a dozen or so for uh, just, just a couple dollars. But I like these, they're lint-free, and they're not going to gum up and leave a mess. And I put them on the edge of this little Swiffer, and then it's got these little rubber holders in the back. And I make me a, a kind of a, a little mop. And what I will do, and I'll take the camera up there and just show you for a minute. I'm not going to show you show me doing the whole thing, but um, I'll spray the top, and then I'll take this and just kind of rub it in. So let's go up on the top and uh, get this finished. I'm ready to be done. <laughs> So here we are up on the top. You know, I probably haven't said this, but I it probably should go without saying, but I'll do it anyway. Be careful, you're up high. I'm on a ladder, aluminum ladder. I've been using uh, soapy water, it's slippery. Uh, just be careful when you do this. So I'm gonna take my protectant and um, I'm gonna put this thing on stream. And I'm just gonna give it a good, just gonna work this in sections. And I'm gonna give it a good, a good spray and then I'm sorry it's not easy to do this with the camera up this so high and then I'm going to take this you can see the cloth and you can actually see the I don't know if you can tell here uh, with the with the glare you can actually see uh, a color changing up there as this actually puts life back into the into the awning and that's good to see and I'm just going to rub this in really good and I'm going to do this across the whole camper or well, not the whole camper but the whole awning so I just finished putting the 303 on the top I really of all the tasks this is probably about the simplest one out of the bunch um, it took me maybe five minutes six minutes spray it liberally uh, if you want to be able to see it kind of stream and then just take that uh, lint free cloth and just rub it in really well and you can actually see especially over there in the dark area this is one of those streak at tops it's not mildewed it's you know the colors done this way but uh, you can actually see if, if the Sun it doesn't wash it out too bad it actually put life back into uh, in, into this uh, awning so it actually looks pretty good well uh, what a job it is a job as I, I was sharing earlier uh, this is probably one of my least favorite things that I do uh, in RV maintenance. Two things that, it's, and it's just because of the physical nature of it. Uh, climbing the ladder uh, and then just that overhead scrubbing. There's just no easy way to be able to do it. Look, I've tried using a pressure washer. I'm afraid it will actually damage it. I think the best thing to do is follow the Dometics, even though I'm not even sure if this is a Dometic awning but uh, follow their rules or at least what they suggest and that is a gallon of water with a tablespoon of Dawn the generic stuff will work and then a tablespoon of just plain old regular chlorine bleach 
put it in a sprayer, spray the dickens out of it, roll it up for five minutes, roll it back out, spray it again, take a soft bristle brush and just give it a good scrub. And it's that action that's over your head is what is uh, just the physical nature of this. And I gotta tell you, it's tiring. Um, I don't know if it shows on the shirt, but I'm soaked. <laughs> I think about a third of it is from water coming off the top, and the other two thirds is just pure sheer perspiration. It's it's a lot of work, but I do it once a year, and uh, it extends the life of the 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 uh, awning, and it just looks fantastic. I mean, I'm just looking at it; it just really looks good. And sometimes you just wonder if it's doing any good at all, even after you've done everything and you've scrubbed it, you might see a speck or two here or there. And then that chlorine continues to um, kind of eat everything out. Um, and you might end up with a few little things, but it's not that bad. Wow, it looks great. I'm glad to have this one, this test done. I do it once a year. Second, <clears throat> you know, you do the top as well. And uh, in my instance, my top really wasn't in that bad of shape. Sometimes it can be. Uh, we've been in areas where we were under trees a lot for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks uh, in that camping season for whatever we were doing. And depending on the trees, oh my goodness, heaven forbid if you ever get under a pecan tree or something like that, uh, and even pine trees here in the south, um, they're sappy and they'll drip and they'll make a mess. Or <laughs> we were at the beach and every bird that I think flew by said, there's Jerry's awning, let's, <laughs> let's give him a gift. <laughs> that can happen too. But uh, just going up there again and putting that, uh, that, uh, that mixture on top of it, hitting it a little bit with a brush and then hitting it with a hose. I've got good pressure here. We're at home right now for a couple weeks. I've got good pressure. I didn't even have to do anything up top. And then lastly, and I think most importantly as well, <clears throat> is using that 303 aerospace protectant. I think it is so very, very important to add longevity. Look, this thing is almost five years old now. It's four and a half years old, and it looks brand new. It looks fantastic. As a matter of fact, if anything is happening to it, right over here, uh, over the door, it looks like um, I've got some stitching issues that... Uh, we may have to get creative here and try to figure out a way to be able to uh, repair that. I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet, but it uh, looks like we've had a few stitches bust. But that's it. Uh, we have cleaned our RV awning. We've got rid of all the mildew, and it looks fantastic, and we're ready to go for another year. And the reason we do this is just very simple. I love RV life, and most of all, I want you to love RV life too.